Hey, it's Thursday. Thursday lately again. I'm wearing my cute little summer bonnet. Do you like it? This is probably, I just, I wasn't going to talk about this as one of my Thursday lately's, but I'll, this could be a Thursday lately. Um, this is an awesome, awesome hat. Sometimes I think I can be, I love hats, but sometimes you have to be, um, you have to be very confident to wear a hat because hats draw attention to you, and if you're not ready to receive some attention, um, then don't wear a hat. And not like, look at me, I want to wear a hat. I'm going to wear a hat because I want to be noticed, but like, people are going to look at you if you're wearing a hat. So, if you're not comfortable with looks, then probably not a good day to wear a hat. That's just completely random. Anyway, this is one of my favorite bonnets to wear. My husband bought it for me at, um, a Cracker Barrel a couple of years ago, and I love it, I love it, I love it. So, when I was uh, packing to come to my in-laws in Phoenix, which is where I'm at, um, I, I put together all these outfits, and I had to put some hats in there, so I did. Um, so, this is one of them. So, this hat makes me happy, so kind of like a fun little flouncy person. Um, I'm not going to wear it out tonight, though, because it's dark out. It'll be dark out, and... I don't need a hat when it's dark. This is completely random, but I'm going to leave it in there. Anyway, back to my Thursday lately. Today I'm just going to talk about one more thing because it's such a big Thursday lately for me that I think it deserves its own attention. We talked about it last Thursday. I was saving it for something pretty, and I, I did it. I did it, I did it, I did it. Now this was something that I was challenging myself because I'm not much of a saver. I'm since birth, I've not been a very good saver. I used to, in fact, blow through my allowance so quickly that I would borrow from my younger sisters. Sorry, Andy. That was, that's, um, that's a really bad thing to do. But my dad would always say, me, money burns a hole in your pocket. And it, it did. It does. I'm really praying myself through that. <laughs> Lord, give me strength to save my money. But um, the beginning of June, I just decided I had enough willpower. I was like, you know what, There's some, there are some things that I really, really want, and they cost quite a few dollars. And the only way that I'm ever going to get them is if I stop spending in other places. And so, I and I was also a very big complainer of, we don't have enough money, I don't have enough money. And this whole Thursday Lately thing has really challenged me to transform my way of thinking and to be positive in every area of my life. And so I just decided, instead of complaining about how you don't have enough money, which in reality, I have more than enough because I'm an American, and if I live in America and I drive a car and I have a house to live in, I'm, I'm extremely wealthy in comparison to the majority of, of the world. So um, I, I have enough money. But there are things that I, that, I, that I wanted, and I was like, well, if I don't save up for them, then I won't get them. So I was like, well, I'm going to challenge myself. I'll stop spending needlessly in some areas, and I'll just touch that money away this month, and I'll see if I have enough stashed away to get what I want. So I did. With some help from my husband, he got a little bit of extra money and from a job that he did, and he gave me a little bit um, of, of, he gave me a little portion, so like 50 bucks worth. Um, but the rest I saved up, and I got myself another watch. <laughs> I got my, my, myself a rose gold Michael Kors watch. I love it. I love it. I love it. I know I don't need another watch. I have a ton of watches, but I, I've been eyeing this one for about a year, since sometime last year, and it's huge, and I love big, chunky watches, and the bracelet, his bracelet, bracelets are what um, lure me in, and I already have a gold one, I didn't need another gold watch, I already have a white one, didn't need a white watch, I have a silver one, didn't need one, and I was like, and I really wanted a big, chunky Michael Kors watch, this is a lot bigger than any of the other ones that I have, and so, uh, and the rose gold, just, it's so different and unique, and um, I really, really liked it, I don't need it, but I really wanted it, so... Instead of swiping the credit card and putting myself in debt and not enjoying it, I stashed away some money and I was able to buy it by my deadline. My goal was to have it by July 4th and that was like my stretch goal and I made it. So I'm super excited about that, but mainly, honestly, to be completely truthful with you, I love this watch and I'm so excited that I have it, but honestly, I was telling my husband, when I went to go buy it, um, 
I was excited that I had it, but I was more excited that I saved up that money to, to buy it because that's something that I've just never been able to do. I, I've never been that strong willed to save money like that. And honestly, this little, this little challenge to myself to save up enough money to buy my Coors watch has motivated me to save, um, just to continue saving money. And so that is what I'm really honestly thankful for. I'm so thankful for my watch, but truthfully, I'm more thankful for the lesson that it taught me to stash away money. <laughs> because I kept watching the pile grow and grow and grow, and I didn't want to part with it. I did not want to part with the money. I wanted the watch, and I had the money for the watch. But when it came time to buy the watch, I was excited. But I was also really kind of sad to see the money leave. And my husband was just so excited. He was like, that's it. That's that's what it's about. You've got to, like, save your money so you see it. You see it growing, and I'm able to bless more people with it. I'm able to buy more things for myself. I'm able to buy what I really like and, and want and desire instead of just buying little things here and there to try to satisfy satisfy the need for shopping. And then it only leaves me bummed because I don't have what I really want. Anyway, this is a very random Thursday lately, but that's honestly and truthfully what I'm really happy about this month or this week is my new watch because I saved up enough money all month of June to get it and it taught me a very valuable lesson in savings. I'm only 29, but by golly, I've gotten a lesson of savings. So that's what I'm thankful for this week. Um, amongst other things, the fact that I'm here in Phoenix again, I'm so excited about seeing my family and loving on them and getting bonding time. It's just been it's so exciting. So um, that's it for me today. I'm going to go rush off and spend more time with my fam, but uh, link up below and share your Thursday love. Talk to y'all later. Mwah.